Now, people have long noticed that it seemed a bit repetitive because it talked about all the various emperors in the middle of the poem and then repeated it all at the end. But this is where I think it's good to translate the last character, Shu, as commentary. So, I think it's quite plausible that the poem was written first. And then the longer section in the middle was written as a commentary to explain some of the more cryptic parts of the poem. So let's look at the section on Tai Song. In that short section of eight lines, it mentions how the scriptures were translated and temples built. Most of each eight line description is just saying nice things about the emperor. But in each one they say a couple specific things that happened during his period. So when you look at the commentary earlier on, you see these same scriptures mentioned several times. That they were brought by Alopen, the first missionary. That the emperor had them examined and translated and approved. And that eventually they were approved for spreading in the kingdom. Here they mention imperial tablets and celestial writings of the emperor. And in the commentary, it tells how the emperor sent a general to bring sacred portraits, obviously, of the emperors to give to the church as a gift. And how the emperor himself did some calligraphy and presented it for display in the church. So again, we see how these sections are very much explaining uh, some details found in the poem. Uh, Su Song, the poem is longer than the commentary. And uh, the poem really says nothing special about Su Song except the normal flattery. But even there, the commentary gives some more specific detail about how some churches were built during his reign in certain areas of China. So it could very easily be seen that we have a theological commentary and then a commentary here on the parts of the poem. 
So rather than talking about a tripartite structure to the stele, we might talk about a two-part structure, the way the introduction does, just the song in Shu. Now, what complicates our understanding of the stele is that these other documents also uh, have to be studied and compared. And unfortunately, we don't have a chance to go into those at all this evening. But until we see all of these and study them all as a unit, it will be hard to get a, an, an answer to some of our questions about the nature of Jing Zhao Christianity. But there is one other overlooked fact about the stele that I think is important in our discussion. This was a public document to be erected in public. That meant that either somewhere in here the text had to go to the official office and be approved for erecting. So the Christian Adam or Jing Jing could not just write the text the way he wanted to write it. But he had to write it in a way that it would engender approval from the government authorities. Now thinking about that might help us think more about how we interpret the wording in the text. And my current research is trying to read this as a text with two messages. That it was written in a way that when Christians read it, they would see the Christian significance. But when a non-Christian Chinese reader, a Buddhist or Taoist or someone with just traditional Confucian beliefs read it, they would also see a message that was not objectionable, even if it was a bit curious. So I call this one steely two messages. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to give you a couple examples of this, so we're starting to run out of time here. Let's look at the creation of the world and man as it's described. This is uh, at the beginning of the theological section. And 3.11 says, he created the cross character to settle down the four corners of the world. Now the Shu character traditionally could refer to the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. And in a second century dictionary, explaining language and analyzing characters, it says 10 is the number of completeness. 
咁係由、呃、第二世紀嗰時嘅詞典或者説文解字裏面咧，將呢個十字咧去解釋為呢、這個、呃呃呃、被捉嘅意思，即係捉夠嘅意思。The horizontal stroke denotes east and west。咁打橫嗰棟啦，就係解東至西啦。The vertical stroke north and south。咁直嗰畫咧就係由南至北咯。So there are four directions and the center in agreement。咁佢就係話四方嘅去到中央，誒、呃、側四方中央被移。So no problem with a Chinese person reading this in connection with a、uh, creation account。咁所以如果一啲非基督徒去睇呢個十字咧，就係、是、對於一個。誒創世嘅概念嘅時候，佢用即係東南西北嘅方向咁去睇咧，佢對佢嚟講，佢嘅理解冇問題。A Christian reading this, of course, would think immediately of the cross of Christ。咁但係如果基督徒睇呢個十字咧，就會馬上聯想到耶穌咯。And think of the Bible passages that tell that before the foundation of the world, God had already planned His salvation through Jesus. 咁喺聖經一度都話俾我哋聽，就係呢個世界創世之先，其實上帝已經係俾咗我哋一個一個救贖嘅計劃。In the next line, it talks about he stoked the original wind and brought to life the two forces。咁第誒下一句咧就係話古猿風而生而起。Um, again, the original wind. Christians think of the Holy Spirit hovering over the waters at creation. 咁如果基督徒睇個風咧，就會可能會聯想到上上帝嘅靈運行喺水面呢個事件啦。Chinese readers would think of the archi at the second part. 咁如基督誒中國人非基督徒嘅中文去睇咧，佢哋可能嘅重點就睇咗以氣呢兩個字啦。And the yin yang that、uh, was also around at the time of creation, according to、uh, Taoist. And uh, Chinese religions. 咁由中國嘅傳統啊，或者係道教裏邊咧，佢都會睇到誒呢個誒創造由陰同陽啊咁開始啦。所以佢哋嘅睇法或者理解咧，就會咁樣去睇啦。Four, two, and three talk about the darkness and void of creation. 咁第二、第三句咧就關於誒誒黑暗啦，同埋嗰個誒光啦，同埋嗰個創造天地嗰個故事啦。Being replaced by heaven and earth, sun and moon, day and night. 咁所以當中又睇到有天啦、地啦、有晝啦、夜啦。And again,、uh, Christians would immediately think of the first chapter of Genesis. 咁如果基督徒咧就馬上聯想到咧創世紀嘅第一章啦。But this also agrees with Chinese creation legends. 咁但係當中呢兩句咧亦都同中國嘅誒世界誒地誒。嘅世界嘅創造咧都係吻合嘅。Then he goes on to talk about creation of man。咁啊之後咧就會講到人嘅誒創造人啦。And how after all the other creatures, man was the crown of his creation。咁誒亦都講到關於創造咗萬物之後，人咧就係誒管理個萬物啦。In four six, a Chinese reader again would see the Liang character and maybe think of Mencius and Liang Xin, the goodness of heart. 咁誒，當去到第四、第六句嘅時候，中國人睇到個良字啦，可能佢哋會聯想到係良心啦，或者係一啲誒，即係好嘅一個字啦。And he as the Confucian ideal for man. 咁個和啦喺誒呢個字啦喺個儒家嘅思想裏邊咧，亦都係一個人嘅一個目標啦。But a Christian would immediately Probably think of Ephesians chapter four, how we are created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. 咁但係基督徒咧，可能佢馬上去聯想到誒《以弗所書》裏邊所講誒，人係照著神嘅形象做嘅，有真理同仁義同清誒聖潔。However, the final character He can also be read as companion. 同埋最後一個字嘅和咧，其實亦都有一個誒伴侶嘅意思嘅。So a Christian might. Take this line also as referring to the creation of woman. 咁而基督徒亦都可以將佢理解為咧，又誒創造女人呢個事件咧。And then the following line、uh, talks about man governing creation again in biblical context, very familiar. 咁去到第七句咧，就係講關於誒人去管理呢個誒萬物啦。咁呢個係都同聖經裏邊嘅。
It goes on to talk about the fall into sin, mentioning Satan. And here giving a whole list of some of the different problems created by sin. 咁咧，喺當中咧列寫咗好多誒由罪所而引申出現嘅一啲嘅問題。Again, uh, I don't think uh, Chinese readers would have any problem identifying with these types of human beings. 咁而作為中國人嘅讀者去睇呢啲嘅問題嘅時候，佢都唔會覺得有啲咩特別嘅。But then it continues with a beautiful account of the incarnation of Christ. <coughs> 跟住下一部分呢就係關於描述耶穌道成肉身嘅故事啦。Because of time, let's only talk about the Christian interpretation here.咁因為時間關係呢，我哋主要集中係誒誒基督教嘅演繹啦。In six six, the Creator God is described as in three other places on the stele as the three one he separates from himself the illustrious and honorable Messiah. He lays aside and hides his true authority and lives on earth in place of man. A very clear restatement of the humiliation and vicarious work of Christ. Philippians 2, chapter 6 comes immediately to mind. He made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And humbled himself unto death, even death on a cross. And 6 9 even can be read as a clear example of the active obedience of Christ, his living a perfect life for us. Uh, 6 10 and following are a wonderful recounting of the incarnation. 咁而第十句往後咧，其實係一個好好嘅描述有關於誒誒道成肉身呢個故事嘅。We're told that an unwed woman, virgin, gave birth to a sage, Sheng. 咁呢度講過啦，失女誕聖啦。Sheng character is found seventeen times on the stele. 咁喺個碑文裏邊，聖呢個字咧就出現咗十七次。As an adjective meaning holy or sacred. And as a noun, a holy man. So at times a religious man, a philosopher, or an emperor can all be called Shung. What better word for the Savior who was going to be the great prophet priest and king for the Christian church. Uh, special mention is made of the star that was in the sky. This part of the nativity had special meaning for the Syriac church. <coughs> they felt very strongly that Persia was where the Magi, the Magi, the wise men came from. And the word that Matthew uses, Magi, is a Persian word to describe the special priests in Persia. And the word that Matthew uses, Magi, is a Persian word to describe the special priests in Persia. 
司字啦，咁而係形容佢哋一個誒好、呃、重要嘅一啲誒學者。Most specifically, the Magi were the priests of the Zoroastrian religion, which persecuted the Church of the East for much of its existence. 咁但係其實誒當時呢個字誒 Magi 個字咧，其實喺誒當時波斯妙教裏邊嘅牧師，其實佢亦都係逼迫緊誒當時嘅基督教嘅。其實 ，But the story of the stars still was one that they would never skip over. 咁而但喺佢哋當時嘅教會嚟講咧，誒、呃、依、这個星個誒誒描述依一段咧，其實喺佢哋嚟講係一個好重要嘅部分嚟嘅。Later they talk about things like the washing with water in the spirit baptism and the seal containing the cross。咁喺誒之後咧，亦都有描述緊誒發足水風咧，就好似誒講緊誒施洗啦，亦都有講緊個印依一方面嘅。And rule and seal are also words used、uh, by Buddhism of the Dharma seal, the seals that verify true Buddhist teaching. 咁而法同印咧，其實喺佛教思想咧，三法印對佢嚟講亦都係一個好傳統嘅誒，佢哋嘅教義嚟嘅。So there are lots of different aspects that、uh, still remain to be studied、uh, when it comes to our interpretation of this old text. 咁所以當我哋現今咧要去演繹一個咁古舊嘅文字嘅時候咧，其實好多地方都值得爭論同埋誒去去考究。We at ALS hope to be part of that study。咁我哋誒亞洲路德中神學院啦，亦都係想誒集中去誒呢個研究啦。And besides myself, our newest faculty member, Chung Wok Fai, is also interested in this area。咁除咗本人之外咧，我哋新嘅誒。And we hope、uh, in the near future to launch a website, which will, for the first time,、uh, put to bring together all of the Jingzhou documents in one place. 咁我哋希望咧係架設一個網站啦，係會將所有有關警教嘅一啲嘅誒文字記載啊，誒所有嘅資料咧係集中係誒擺埋一齊。And where we can put together accepted、uh, ways of citing all of the texts and having agreement on the、uh, elect an electronic version of the characters. 咁而希望咧就可以將一啲大家同意啊或者一啲誒誒嘅演譯嘅睇法咧係集中擺埋一齊嘅。And、uh, including all the different translations and bibliography that's out there, so to make it easier for students to access this material. 亦都希望咧，係將唔同嘅學者嘅誒翻譯啦，或者唔同嘅參考啦，擺埋一齊，亦都可以讓有興趣嘅誒同學啦、學生或者學者咧，去一齊去研究嗰方面。And since we are now in during the Advent season, I would like to end with a reminder of the Christmas story as told on the Jingzhou Stele. 咁因為而家我哋係將臨期啦，亦都好近聖誕啦。咁我哋亦都係希望。最尾嘅部分咧，就同大家分享個警教碑裏邊有關於聖誕呢個信息嘅。One person of our Trinity, the brilliant and revered Messiah, veiling and hiding his true majesty, came to earth to live in the place of man. 於是我三一分身，警尊尼斯阿，隱隱其誒真威，同人出代。Angels rejoiced, and a virgin gave birth to a holy one. In the west, a bright star announced the good fortune. Persians saw the brilliant light and brought offerings. 於大秦景肅告長，波斯諸要以來共。This fulfilled the old teaching of the twenty-four prophets. He introduced life and eliminated death. He raised a bright sun to dispel the darkness. 原二十四姓有説之舊法，開身滅死，原景日已破暗苦。He left behind twenty-seven books, which tell of the fundamental change which liberates captive souls. 經留二十七部，將原化以法靈關。One person of the Trinity entered the world. His redemption and salvation knew no limit. The sun arose and darkness fled. All recognized the true mystery.
分身出代，救度无边，日升日升暗灭，咸正真圆。<笑><笑>大家圣诞